last time I we reviewed them, I said it was raw, classic, and a dirty production stu- uh, suits the style of awesome rock. Yep. I still stand by those words. Um, it's great. The drums sound amazing. Estelle sounds like the female version of Miles Kennedy. What? That's a fair rap name. And I could nice. definitely see them supporting Slash and Miles on the next tour, and they yep. should. Yep. I really hope they do. Um, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been meaning to check these girls out live, but have unfortunately had other things every single time they had a show on. But I plan to unfuck this issue very soon. <laughs> <laughs> So, I will come to a gig soon. Um, I absolutely love it. One of my favourite local rock bands next to City Sharps. Again, an 8 out of 10. My standouts were Everyone Down and Money Tree. Ah, love it. Cool. Yeah, I like it too. Big improvement. Big improvement. In the production. Yeah, yeah on the production. Um, they went to Light Hill and uh, used... Um, Shane. Shane Ray, mm-hmm. who's Ricky Ray's brother. Very good. These girls have really progressed. These songs are catchy. It's great playing. The production is A1. Estelle has a great voice. Mm -hmm. Love her voice. Yep. Unique too. Yep. They're getting better um, all the time. They just, everything, each time they put something out, it's it's better. It's a progression. It's exactly what you want to see. And uh, Great Energy, I gave it an 8 out of 10. I can't remember the names of any of the songs because that's just me. No. It was four. <laughs> you didn't have to remember much. <laughs> yeah, I know. Four tracks on this fucking thing I and you know, couldn't even yeah. write down one. You know what, though? <clears throat> We've actually um, got a copy of that. We've got a copy of this. Can I show it? Yeah. See how they're jumping? Right? It takes my focus away Might from as well the music. Extreme close-up. Jump! It takes my focus away from the music because they're jumping. They're having fun and everything is it's good. Well done. Well done, girls. I could. Oh, I'm not going to get myself into trouble. Andrew, to speak, because I'm going to get myself into trouble. <laughs> You're already in trouble. What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, I know. <laughs> the only issue that any of us had with the last EP, the self-titled debut, was the production. Yep. That has been well and truly fixed. And for me personally, having seen them and gotten to know them doing the interview and just going to gigs to see them and stuff, watching them grow and develop and become more confident as songwriters and as live performers is an absolute privilege to me. I love these ladies to absolute bits. They can't put a foot wrong as far as I'm concerned. This, the four tracks on here, each and every one is different. They're not the same thing over and over again. And they're all different to what was on the last EP as well. So if it's possible for these girls, they've gone and done the growth thing that you were talking about and gotten better as they go along. It's fantastic. They go anywhere from just classic, you know, solid hard rock through to sort of living in influence with a bit of grunge in there too, but none of these things are detracting. It's all definitely them and nothing strays away too far from their formula. The talent that's on display in this band cannot be denied and watch it, you've got to see them live Mm. because they are absolutely phenomenal and having seen them grow over the last, say, 12 months on the live setting, Absolutely amazing to me. Estelle out front on the vocals is fantastic, but Jess and Josie backing it up on the backing vocals and the harmonies are going to this. Rounded out perfectly, complemented all really well. Stand up effort in my mind. There's no doubt that these lovely ladies are absolutely ready to do an album. Yeah. They should do one and they do should. a massive tour. And, and Radio Triple M, you should be fucking all over this band. Oh, yeah. Again, it's a privilege and an honour to call them friends and to watch their career grow through doing this, as far as I'm concerned. I love it to bits. I gave it a 9 out of 10. I picked everyone down and shut me down, and I reckon shut me down could be well the next single for Mm. these girls because they could really do a lot with that live that would really be impactful. There's a lot of moments in that song. Before we go to it, we should all have Jaeger bombs with them. Yes. Ah. Mocking bombs. <laughs> Mocking bombs. Do I have like, had one with them. Do they like Jaeger bombs? Really? Oh, I'll fill you in, but yeah, we'll go with it. We'll, we'll give you the details <laughs> really? after. Really? Really? Team Birds, go! Team Birds, go! We'll give you a taste right now. Woo! 